Hey everyone, this is Tim Berry, your PC Perspective News Editor and Hardware Enthusiast Extraordinaire. And today we're here to take a look at Intel's SSD Toolbox. Now this is version 3 of the program and in the change log, uh, quite a few things have changed but at the same time some stuff has stayed the same and in that vein it's actually a good thing. Now we're going to take a look at the program today and just from first starting up you can immediately notice that things are a lot different. Now we do have a lot going on in the screen so I'm going to go through it uh, just screen by screen and you know list some of the changes that have happened. Now this new home page is uh, definitely something different. It shows you easily at a glance uh, you know hard drive capacity, free space, uh, drive health and you know an estimate on how much time your SSD has left before it kicks the bucket. Now luckily my uh, SSD here which is actually an old uh, Intel X25M Gen 2 80 gigabyte model is actually uh, looking to be in pretty good shape despite all of the uh, constant installing, uninstalling and just basically ADHD like behavior. <laughs> and uh, well actually you know, it's probably a little bit less ADHD and more uh, digital pack rat behavior, but uh, that, that's a totally different story. So anyway, jumping back into this, uh, you are able to see other drives on the system. Uh, I have two spindle drives installed currently, and you're able to see the capacity st statistics um, as well as drive details, but for the most part, you don't get any of the uh, cool, you know, Intel estimation on just how long your drive has before it kicks it. So that's pretty much it for the home screen. Uh, it's kind of nice. It's really shiny. And uh, if you guys have been following my news post for a while, you know that uh, I'm rather fond, fond of shiny things. Now, moving on, we have the Intel SSD optimizer. Now this tool was in uh, earlier versions of this program but now it has its sort of uh, own little tab here and uh, I haven't actually run it in a while at least not with this uh, version 3 and I'll do that later but for the most part uh, just the same old uh, SSD optimizer that runs through uh, you know basically trim functionality <sighs> Next up, we have the uh, quick and full diagnostic scans. Now, again, same old, same old. Uh, I did run through both of these and the drive checked out. We'll run through this just to show you real quick. The full diagnostic scan uh, has the same sort of interface. Uh, it looks exactly the same. It just does. <coughs> excuse me. It just does a lot more under the hood. And you know, as you can see, drive checks out. It gives you a nice shiny green check mark tells you it's all good. We're going to go ahead and skip the full diagnostic scan for right now. Uh, you do have easy access to Secure Erase, which uh, <laughs> as my OS is installed on here, we won't be showing live. Next up, we do have a firmware update screen, and you're able to install firmware updates on some of the newer Intel SSDs. Uh, without having to download that extra little uh, Intel firmware updating tool, which has uh, traditionally been a you know separate little application uh, outside of the SSD toolbox, at least for uh, you know at least for some. I I could have sworn I remember being able to update uh, one or two uh, Intel SSDs uh, using version two, but I'm not quite sure. I'll, I'll verify that before I. Uh, finish writing up the story but you know same standard fare you're able to uh, download the updates from Intel and it'll install them and you restart and you're hopefully better off for it now as you can see it's giving me a warning about being in IDE mode uh, although I could have sworn I was running an AHCI again uh, things are going to have to verify next tab second to last uh, system tuner it's somewhat in the same vein as the um, you know, system health I believe is called on the uh, older iteration of the program but 
it does have a nice little uh, extra option in the form that it tells you, uh, you know, defragmenter, uh, and you're able to schedule that for the spindle drives, and it specifically tells you not to use it on the Intel SSD, and trust me, don't do that. Uh, it's going to burn out your drive a lot faster than it needs to be. But it's a nice little option, just, uh, you know, system level being able to run through and say, uh, you know, keep your uh, spindle drives up to date and give them a little bit of attention, especially now that the, you know, whole flooding in Thailand has ca caused uh, hard drives to be pretty much worth their weight in gold uh, if you check some of the prices on Newegg. Next up, uh, you know, system information, it just basically gives you a rundown of your system specs. Uh, one of the new features uh, in the version 3 is an integrated help system. So you're able to just say, hey, what the heck does this mean? By clicking the little help uh, icon in the upper right. Uh, there's also uh, s some specific uh, in like inline uh, help prompts if you need that as you're going through some of the options where it specifically uh, points out that, hey, you might want to uh, check out what all this means. So, they, uh, you know, they've run through and given you a lot of... Uh, you know, handy tips and tricks, and uh, so that's really good that they actually are integrating this and not, you know, relying on online help systems because, you know, not everyone is online all the time, especially if, uh, you know, you have your SSD in the laptop and you're trying to run through some of this. All right, so that's pretty much it. Uh, I think I've really covered it. I've given you guys a fairly decent look at what the new interface looks like. Uh, if there's something, you know, more specific that you'd like to see or, you know, or something that you'd like me to check out that I missed, please send us, a, you know, an email or let us know in the comments. Also, uh, if you're interested in seeing higher quality uh, screenshots of the program, there are going to be some on the site in the news post that this uh, video is going to be embedded into. So you can, you know, go ahead hit up that news post and uh, click on the images for a larger image and you'll be able to you know see exactly what all this text says alright uh, so that's pretty much it thanks for watching